welcome to my channel. So if you are into bags just as much as I am, then you will love this channel. So hit that subscribe button. And if you want me to bug you almost every single day, then hit that little bell so you are notified. All right, so tonight's video is a tag video and I was tagged by the wonderful Leo Lion LV. So thank you, Linda, for tagging me to do this video. I do appreciate it. Um, all right, so the tag video is titled Luxury Items I Thought I'd Never Buy. Um, I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add own as well, buy own, because I did not buy one of the items, but I thought I'd never buy it or own it, if that makes any sense. Okay, anyway, let's jump into it. I have three bags and two SLGs, so let's start with the smallest SLG first, and then we'll work our way up to the bags. All right, and the first item is the Louis Vuitton six ring key holder, and I have it in the Damier Azor print. Uh, mine is in really good shape still, but I pretty much, you know, it's used every day, but I don't beat it up. If that makes any sense, like the glazing and everything looks awesome on it still. And there, I don't have any color transfer, and this has been inside my bean bags with the red lining, as well as some of my Junie and Burke bags too. It's been inside of those bags, and it's, it's fine. No color transfer yet. Uh, the inside is actually really clean. I'll show you really quick. Um... Sort of, maybe. So there's that. I do have my initials hot stamped on there for Joshy Michael. <laughs> but yeah, this is not dirty at all. Like, no. You can see there. So really clean, um, and I'm really careful with my stuff. But this item, I thought I would never get it or buy it or own it or whatever because I thought it was actually really stupid at first. When I saw this on YouTube, people had it. I thought it was like, this is like really dumb, like this is stupid, I don't need a thing to put my keys in, blah blah blah. Okay, I was so freaking wrong about that and I'm glad I got this because I use it every day. It's in my bags, every single day. No matter what bag I'm in, it goes in the bag. So that's, <laughs> there's that. So the six ring key holder, I know a lot of people have the six or the there's the four ring key holder too. I think a lot of people seem to have the monogram but I like the Azor print, um, that's just, what I decided to go with, and mine's in great shape still. Um, so I've had this for a couple years now. And yeah, so there we go, item number one. Number two is another very popular Louis Vuitton item, and that would be the mini pochette. And I also have this in Tommy Azor, because uh, I like this print a lot. <laughs> and mine is also in wonderful shape. And I thought I would never get this because I thought it was dumb <laughs> too. I'm like, this is such a stupid piece. It's just like a little wristlet basically. It really can't hold much, blah, 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 blah. And of course I got it anyway. And I was very, very wrong. So this is awesome. I use this pretty frequently. Um, I tend to use it a little bit more in the summertime, like my Azor prints are more summery. Except for the six ring key holder, that's like a year round thing pretty much. Um, I have a Michael Kors one, but I really don't use that much anymore now that I got the Louis Vuitton, but anyway. So this is the mini pochettes. Thought I'd never get it, but I got it anyway. And I got it before people went crazy about them, and now you can't even like find them anymore, I think. From what I understand, I haven't even looked on the Louis Vuitton website in a while, but um, I know canvas is getting very hard to come by. And yeah, so I'm glad I got this when I did because I didn't have to pay over retail for it. <laughs> And mine's perfect, actually. There's no, there's zero tarnishing on all of the hardware. It's perfect. And then the canvas is perfect too. It's it's perfect and inside too. It's so clean. There's literally, it's, it's perfectly clean. It's awesome. So I do love this. I have used this to run out to dinner. It holds, it doesn't hold my phone, but it holds a card holder and like a lip balm. So that's pretty much all I need for like a dinner or some kind of a thing. So the mini pochette. All right, now let's move on to the bags. And the first bag is uh, one that I recently just got actually from Linda. <laughs> so this is the Louis Vuitton Speedy 25 Bandolier in Damir or Zor. And I got this bag from her, two reasons. And I never thought I would have this bag or any of these bags, but I never thought I would have this bag because it's a Speedy, I'm like, oh, I don't think I like the Speedies, blah, 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 blah. No, I was very, very wrong. I love this bag, I'm so glad I ended up getting it. And I got it for a couple reasons, like I said. One, 
because you can't find them made in France like anymore. Two, you can't find them like at all, period, because the canvas is like going extinct or something. So that's why I bought these and I'm so glad I did because now I have an iconic piece from Louis Vuitton and it's made in France and of course it's in fabulous mint condition as well. So I'm super glad I have that and it's the bandolier which I really like that as well for the 25 so I can wear crossbody because that's how I'm going to wear this particular item. So yeah, there we go. I'm excited to be able to use this. I actually haven't used this yet, um, but if we get another really nice sunny day with like no rain or snow or anything like that, I probably will break it out and use it. So there we have that. I love it. It's so cute and pretty. And these fit a lot more and they're lightweight. All right, next up is <laughs> my other speedy. So this is the 30 in a bean and yeah, I thought I'd never own this bag because once again, I thought I'd never be interested in the speedy bags, but I was very, very wrong because of like what I just said. They're so lightweight, they're functional, they hold a bunch of stuff and it's just a great like shape and it, you can just like, yeah, just it's a great everyday size. Like I could use this for work every day if I wanted to and I'm probably gonna use this a whole bunch, especially in the winter time with all the snow and stuff. I don't have to worry about the Vachetta on the other items. So love this, super glad I got it again. Uh, this is also uh, from Linda if you saw that video. So made in France. And was this a 2012 Linda? I think that's what it is, 2012. And the Azure was a six, 2016 I think. So 12 and 16, but yeah. Awesome, amazing shape. I love this canvas. It feels so nice, it's wonderful. I love the Abin print. I think the Abin is like my favorite actually. Probably the Bean and then the Azor and then the Monogram, really. I think that's the order. But there is that. So the Speedies. I thought I'd never have a Speedy, and now I've got two of them. <laughs> and then I had to wait to do this video. I know it took me like a week to do this, but I was waiting on those Speedies, and then this just happened. I'll just show you. This just happened, okay? So my brand new surprise present from my hubby, my Chanel Jumbo in navy caviar leather and gold tone hardware. I never thought I would buy this bag. I mean, I didn't buy it, but own it, whatever. Hubby got it for me, same difference. Because of the price point of this bag is insane. It's literally insane, totally crazy, completely ridiculous. It's pushing Hermes prices, but I have it and I couldn't be happier. I am so thankful and appreciative and it's just gorgeous because this is one of my Holy Trinity bags. So I have three Holy Grail bags, so I call it my Holy Trinity bags. So this bag is the first one on the list that now I have. So it's pretty cool. Now I just gotta get myself a Birkin and a Kelly. I wonder how long it's gonna take to get one of those. We'll see. So there we have that. But absolutely gorgeous. I love all of these bags. Here, let's do a close up of this baby. I mean, this is just, this is just everything. Oh yes. Look at that shininess. It just makes me happy to look at it. It's so pretty, I love it. Okay, so there we have it. There is my five items I thought I would actually never own or buy. So yeah, I um, anything negative that I'd ever said about any of these items, I take it all back because they're actually pretty freaking amazing. So thank you um, so much, Linda, for tagging me in this video. And I am going to actually tag anybody who wants to do this video. So anybody who's watching this, go ahead and um, do it, do the video. I think the more the merrier. That's what kind of this community is about. It doesn't have to be necessarily um, Louis Vuitton or Chanel. Maybe it's, um, I don't know, a coach bag or something like that. And that's a luxury item to you. So that would be, you know, do that video for, for you to share with everybody. So there we have it. Uh, thanks so much for watching you guys. Until next time, keep it tight. Talk to you later, bye.